democracy and body autonomy is only useful if you don't have to buy a plane ticket and fly somewhere else to get it. Maui County might as well be Mississippi. Colleagues, it's been my distinct honor. An impassioned plea from a Hawaii state lawmaker about the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade. On the last day of the legislative session in May, a retiring Maui lawmaker dedicating her entire goodbye speech to protecting abortion rights. And as KITV Forest Tom George explained, she now has a warning for the impact of the decision on Hawaii. Tom. Well, the Supreme Court decision likely won't affect Hawaii, which was the first state to legalize abortion. But in practice, Representative Tina Wildberger from Maui says for women on neighbor islands, there are some of the same issues in actually ac accessing abortion that women in states that will outlaw abortion will now face. Long traveling distance and facilities with limited staff. That's an expensive endeavor. If you're a 17 year old who has had some event, whether uh, voluntary or not, and find yourself pregnant, you know, oh, I'm going to buy a plane ticket and go to Oahu for three days. See you later, mom and dad. You know, it's just not practical. Now, she says on Maui, for example, there's not always enough doctors or a regular schedule at the clinic and services intermittent at best. Wildberger says she wants to see state lawmakers tackle some of these very issues next session, including better staffing at some of those clinics. Tom George, KTV4, Island News.